So, let me tell you a story. So, once upon a time, there were a tiny, lonely, gloomy SPG square. Nobody really liked it. He felt quite miserable. Fortunately, he had a good friend called CSS to cheer it up. And along the years, SVG taught many tricks to uh, CSS. Uh, they can do really crazy stuff, and that old friendship they have, it was really awesome. They really liked each other. So, okay, I have a good idea what you're gonna say. This is not one square, there is something else. It's not possible with one square. Well, actually, there is one square. It's just that SVG has the power of its own. And among them, I can reuse my square quite extensively. But CSS is not fooled by that, not at all. He has his own custom power to punch through that mist. And um, it's even better when they decide to actually use and combine their power. What if our single rect were wearing a mask of itself? Ladies and gentlemen, here's our hero. At that point, we can go crazy and turn our square into whatever we want, like flowers, for example, or hmm, a teapot, because why not? Well, at that point, we are venturing a bright world of awesomeness. And let me tell you one thing. What story would it be without a good villain? I mean, yeah, that one. <laughs> he doesn't really like SVG, let's face it. He really wants CSS to get stuck with HTML, you know, so he sent us one of its minions, a nasty bug. Yeah. Oh, it looks ugly, but let me show you the true face of evil. Here's, oh, oh by the way, hi, Rekt. There it is. Okay, cool. That's not a problem. Problem is in here. Let me zoom it a bit so you will see what we are talking about. Here's my rect. Okay, great. Bunch of stuff. All of this working perfectly fine. No, 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 no. Here's the line. Look at this. It looks so nice, so gentle, so innocent. Ha! Don't be fooled. This is not just lie about transition. No, 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 no. It completely wiped out the rendering of all my used elements. Dismissed plain and simple in a blink of a transition. Ah, that bug. That bug, my friend, it really broke my heart. I have to tell you something. What story would it be without a good cliffhanger? Will the bug be fixed? Will the friendship between CSS and SVG be thrown apart? Will my heart be healed? I don't know. I know one thing is that you can stand up and you can use CSS with SVG to make awesomeness rise again, and you will be the messenger to tell the world that CSS and SVG will remain best friend forever. Thank you very much. <laughs>